Okay, I'm, um, this is the crossbow that I made. I'm gonna try shooting it at that target to demonstrate the power that this, these would have. This one, I have a smaller bow on this and a smaller string. This would be like the size that they would use for hunting for their smaller game like um, squirrels. Um, Cause they didn't just hunt for um, like deer. They, and they wouldn't just use them for war. They would also use them as sporting for um, squirrels and smaller animals. And so how they would shoot them is they have this on it called a stirrup. They would put their foot in there. They would actually have two people. One person would be loading it and the other would be um, shooting it. I've got this trigger on here that would push this down. So I'm going to pull my string back to put that in there. Um, then I'm going to um, grab an arrow. I would, I, I've got a groove in here, so I'll set the one end down into the slot. I'll put the knock on, and I can just look down the arrow. I can look at the target. I can aim at the heart. That's about right in the heart. So, let's take a second shot. Okay. Well, load it again. Hit a little different, made it tip over. Got that one right in the neck and one in the heart. And it went all, it went all the way through the target. This is pretty hard to pull. That one's just right above the heart, and this one's right in the neck, right on the spine. So these are pretty lethal. These are just for this one would be for shooting small animals, as I said, but this one could still hurt someone pretty badly. Um, I've got, this is um, made out of mahogany. Mahogany, And this has um, a little bow that I have. Uh, this trigger is made out of a nail that's painted. This is just a piece of wood. This is a bowl. Here's a strip of metal, another bolt, and then I just cut the stock out. So, um, and you just pull this back, like I showed, and you, you shoot it. It's pretty so, so, which tools do you use, quick? Um, sure, I'll have to set this down. For cutting the body out, um, what we used is, first of all, to cut the shape out, we used the table saw to get the shape of it and then we use the bandsaw for like the curving and stuff of it. Um, then for getting that smooth edge on it, we took a router and it's like a sandpaper but it just cuts little pieces of the sides off and for doing those pieces in there, well for doing that piece in there that we have that thing in there, we um, took a drill